hello and welcome back to my channel good evening from my side my name is anita brown in case you're coming across my channel for the first time okay my darling how did your day go i hope it went well all right now it's time for our wait for today courtesy of ucb and our topic today says the river of god yes you heard me right and our bible reading is taken from the book of exodus 2 verse 3 and i read from my bible verse 3 i get it it says, and when she could not longer hide him, she took him for an ark of bulrushes and daubed it with slime and with pitch and put the child therein. And she laid it in the flags by the river's brink. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's continue, my darling. All right. Moses' mother put him in a basket, placed it in River Nile. And the tide carried him to Pharaoh's daughter who adopted him and made him part of Pharaoh's family. His next 40 years would be spent preparing him for one of the greatest assignments of all time, the Exodus. There is a lesson here. The river took him from a place of hopelessness and despair to a place where all things became possible. And God can do that for you too. Number one, the river of his grace can blot out your sins, clothe you in righteousness of Christ and bring you into a new relationship with God. Number two, the river of his power can carry you from the place of defeat to a place of victory. Number three, the river of his wisdom can carry you from the place of mistakes and confusion to the place of vision and success. Number four, the river of his provision can take you from the place of lack to the place of abundance. This means God will have to disconnect you from those who tear you down because they don't understand what he has called you to do and connect you with a new circle of friends or place you in a church that can build you up spiritually and help equip you to fulfill God's plan for your life. As a slave, Moses' mother couldn't have introduced him to Pharaoh's daughter, but God could. And he did. And what God did for Moses, he would do it for you if you seek him in prayer and follow his instructions. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She put the child in it and laid it in the reeds by the river bank. And God took him from that place of hopelessness to a place where all things became possible. For 40 years, God prepared Moses to become what? what you couldn't even imagine. Can you imagine that? So God has a purpose for all of us, okay? The river of God's grace can take you and blot out your sins. The river of God's power can also carry you from the place of defeat to the place of victory. The river of God's power can also carry you, you know, with his wisdom. He can carry you from a place of mistake of confusion to a place of vision and success. The river of God's provision can also take you from a place of lack to a place of abundance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know the way the river just moved uh, Moses from where he is to a better place. That is how the river of God is going to move you. Only if you put your hope and trust in God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the God that did it for Moses, he will do it for you if you seek him in prayer and follow his instructions. It is not easy, but we have to do it. Okay, my darling. Yes. That is it for today for us. I want to thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that this is an excerpt from what for today. And we are reading the Bible for the whole year. Can you refer back to my previous videos? You're going to see the chapters we've read, okay? But for today, my darling, we are reading Hosea chapter 11, chapter 12, and Jude, the book of Jude. You know, it's just only one, one chapter. Just that one from verse 1 to 25. That is after that Jude, and the next book is Revelation the last book of the bible all right so that is it thank you you know i love you but god loves you most see you in my next video and don't forget to share and also if you find this video very thoughtful or very interesting 
don't forget to give us what a thumbs up okay share and subscribe and follow our page bye bye